Research tells us uh, there are a significant number of children with developmental coordination disorder coming to the CCACs for treatment, for care. We know that approximately one child in every classroom has developmental coordination disorder, and we also know that it makes up about 85% of the current wait lists for occupational therapy in the school health support services program that the CCACs run. So really, we have a significant number of children with developmental coordination disorder who are coming to the CCACs for care, for service in the school setting. And we want to make sure that that care and that service that we're delivering reflects the best available literature and research on how it should be done. Partnering for Change is really about taking a different approach to leveraging the available occupational therapy resources that we have in school setting and to try and deliver a more effective and more cost efficient way of delivering school health support services to children with developmental coordination disorder. Currently the approach that has been used in the past was individually pulling a child out of the classroom doing specific assessments and then making recommendations. Partnering for Change turns that whole paradigm upside down and lets the child stay within the classroom. Instead, the occupational therapist goes into the classroom with the child, spends time assessing the child in the classroom setting, and then works collaboratively with the teacher, building the teacher's knowledge and capacity around how to adapt uh, how things happen in the classroom so that the child with DCD can be successful in the classroom setting. It also involves working more closely with the family, understanding that developmental coordination disorder is not something that we can fix or cure. Instead, it's something that a child lives with for the rest of their life and it's really about how do we adapt and how do we make the environment around the child uh, more conducive for a child with a developmental coordination disorder to be successful within that environment. What we found actually is when we worked with the parents of the children with DCD, they were much more satisfied with this approach. They felt more involved, they felt that they understood uh, what was going on both at home and in the classroom and they felt like they were partners as well in how to support their children to be successful both in the home setting and in the school setting. So parental satisfaction was much, much higher in this uh, particular approach. We also talked to the teachers in the classroom. They loved this approach and actually we got some pretty outstanding feedback from both teachers and school boards saying yes, 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 this is a much better approach for us. Again, teachers in the classroom felt that they were supported to understand what is developmental coordination disorder, what does it mean for them to have a child with developmental coordination disorder in their classroom and how do they adapt and adopt curriculum and activities to ensure that all the children in their classroom can be successful and participate. That's a huge satisfaction for teachers when they can see their children thriving and doing better in the classroom and they felt involved, they felt supported by the OTs and, and they really felt that they learned and that their knowledge and expertise grew as a result of this project. So they were quite happy as well. We've also, some of our preliminary results would suggest that this may be a more cost effective way of delivering services and would allow us to significantly reduce the wait lists that currently exist for children to access occupational therapy services in the school. So we're really interested in is this cost effective? Is it more streamlined? Can we create better value for the same amount of dollars? And can we deliver services in a way that provide greater satisfaction to both the, the child and family and the school and the teacher 